My name is Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor. Welcome to my YouTube station. I do these now in the luxury of my own home. I don't have to go in an office. I, this is my office. I'm a virtual office. Uh, I worked at IRS for 10 years, uh, 10 long years. I uh, was a, uh, a teaching instructor when I was there. I've worked thousands, thousands of cases, and I'm a national expert in resolution matters. I have a large Facebook following, about 5,000 professionals follow me and I have my own conference every year but that's not going to help you because my subject today is why do offers and compromise fail. I used to sign off on offers when I was at IRS and I used to deny them. So you're not going to get anyone more of an expert on offers and compromise than myself. There's a lot of people barking on YouTube about how good they are and what they've done. Well I was the IRS so I will tell you why most offers and compromise fail. Very simple. People don't know what the hell they're doing on an offer and compromise. They don't. Um, I, um, I know everything that's going on with offers. Uh, what's happened today is a lot of offers are being done by these big box uh, tax resolution companies. And God forbid, they're the one that advertise all the time. You know, if you're over 10000 they're going to save you. They can reduce any debt. They can knock it out of the park. They can't. Last year, only 13,000 people had offers and compromise accepted. The rate of acceptance is somewhere around 30% of the people, in fact, that are eligible. These, now keep in mind, some of the offers don't even get past the first stage of acceptance and they get sent back. If you have to know what the offer program is before you even submit the offer, because it's bad news for you. If they go ahead and take your offer in, they take your deposit, and then they add to the statute to collect, and you don't want that to happen. So you must have a valid offer to start with. So if you're going to go ahead and submit an offer, my advice to you is go to a person. Do not go to a company. That person may work for a company, but you want to talk to the person who is the expert and find out based on your financial, uh, find current financial statement, what the odds are if, uh, if that's going to be accepted. I can tell you probably with 95% accuracy, if you show me your financial statement, I'll probably tell you relatively exactly what IRS is going to go ahead and, uh, and, uh, and settle this debt for why I used to do this for a living. So if you have an offer and compromise and you think you're qualified, uh, you may want to give me a call. If it's not me, just make I always like former IRS agents. Why? Because we know the system. So anyway, you're welcome to call me, send me an email. Before I take any money, I want to look at your financial statement because there's many cases I don't take because you're not eligible and there's no use wasting your money and my time. So anyway, uh, give me a call. Thank you so much for listening. I appreciate your ear. I have a whole bunch of YouTubes on a whole bunch of different subjects, over 3,000 of them. So uh, give me a subscription today if you would. and. I'm happy to answer any questions you have. Thank you so much for listening.